Hi, Ron Solico here, and welcome to video number six in If I Got Hit by a Bus Legacy series. And what I want to talk about in this video today is just to reminisce and record my memories of Ryan's first venture into playing Little League Baseball. And I won't capture all the memories, but it was an amazing time. It was neat to see him play and hear some of the stories about it. Now, first, I did volunteer to coach the team, and Ryan was playing t-ball ages four through six, so he was one of the younger players on the team. And I know there's goods and bads about coaching your own kids, and you hear criticisms. Uh, fortunately, at that age, you don't hear a lot of issues about playing time and such with the teams being split up very evenly, same number of kids, and everyone's in the field, and everyone bats. Uh, but what made it so neat was just the first experience of it, and I wanted to share a couple of stories about it. When I told Ryan that I was going to coach his team, and it was something he asked for, which was very gratifying to hear as a parent when we talked about him playing baseball. Jen asked him if he wanted me to coach, and he said, oh, he said, yes, I do. So I did. I immediately volunteered and very thankful I had the opportunity to do that. What I had told Ryan was, in practice, you have to call me coach. You can't call me daddy. I, I don't want there to be this perception or misperception about favoritism. And he agreed with that, and he promptly forgot it. At our first practice, we were doing some drills, and... He said, Daddy, Daddy, come here, come here. And I said, Ryan, not right now. We're in the middle of a drill. Ryan, Daddy, Daddy, come here. And I tried to ignore him, tried to ignore him. He kept saying, Daddy, Daddy, come here. I got to tell you something. Finally, we got to a time where we took a water break. And I said, Ryan, what did you keep calling me over here for? And he said, Daddy, I just wanted to tell you, JB and I have the same baseball glove. And he walked away. And it was, it was so funny. And it was so, it was just, it was just a great moment that he was so excited to talk to me. And that's what he wanted to talk to me about. So he went and got his drink. He came back and I told him, I said, Ryan, remember what we talked about in practice? You have to call me coach. Do you remember that? Yes, Dad. Ryan, remember, in practice from now on, you have to call me coach, okay? He said, okay, Daddy. He walked away. And beyond that, we had our first game of the season, and for any of you that have been involved with t-ball, getting a legitimate out is a very rare occurrence, even with every player in the field. Kids are not running the proper way uh, in, in terms of the bases. The first batter of the season, Ryan was playing second base, and the ball was hit to him, and he fielded it cleanly. And now he was only about 15 feet from the first baseman after he fielded it, and his throw wasn't great. He just kind of threw it in the ground, and it rolled to the first baseman. The first baseman fumbled it a bit, but we got a legitimate out with it. And so the first play... First batter of the season, first batter of his career, he, he got to make that play, and it was pretty neat to see. I also remember another time during the season where he, I was coaching first base, and he he hit, he was up, he got the ball, he got a hit, and at first base, I, I bent over to give him a, a five and to tell him what to do in terms of getting ready to run to the next base, and he gave me a hug, and it was just... It was so fun. So, Ryan, I just wanted you to know how much I enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Coaching kids that age is, is very interesting. You need a lot of patience, a lot of redirection and attention, because every kid is just looking all over the place, not have trouble paying attention, but it was a blast. And, Ryan, I just wanted you to know and I was so thankful for that opportunity. Thank you for watching the 
If I Got Hit by a Bus Legacy Series Video 6, Coaching Ryan's T-Ball Team.